It's hard to imagine how the dive industry could have become what it is today without Peter Hughes. Innovators transformed our gear and our training. Peter not only transformed how we enjoy diving, but helped transform who goes diving. Learning to dive as a boy, by the late 60s, Peter was already involved in dive travel. Only 21 years old, as director of Tobago's Camp Crusoe, he oversaw one of the Caribbean's first scuba programs. He became an instructor in 1969, and a couple of years later, Peter seized an opportunity that would change diving forever. It was that year that Peter took over a failing, fledgling dive operation on Roatan that no one had ever heard of. It was a sailing resort called Anthony's Key Resort. Over the next three years, Peter revamped Anthony's Key, reshaping it from a rustic hole in the wall for sailors and a handful of hardcore divers to the modern, attractive, dedicated dive resort. In 1975, recently married to Alice only months before, Peter was ready for a new, bigger challenge. He relocated to Bonaire, and in 1977 jumped on another dive resort that was up for auction, converting it into Dive Bonaire NV. Over the next eight years, Dive Bonaire drew attention and imitators as Peter killed sacred cows like, if you can't carry your tank, you can't dive, and replaced them with customer-centered philosophy. Let us do it for you. Under Peter's leadership, Dive Bon Air ushered in fill stations on the dock and boats. Why take the tank to the air when you can take the air to the tank? He redesigned boats with benches and ladders specifically for diving, something we all take for granted today. Dumping the chest thumping, he expanded participation by women and ultimately why older persons, those with physical challenges and others excluded by the old school view, today enjoy diving. As Peter's view of the modern dive resort grew, so did his contributions. In 1985, he became vice president of Divi Resorts, which developed dedicated dive resorts throughout the Caribbean. In 1986, while still with Divi, Peter introduced Sea Dancer, the vessel that ushered in the modern dive liveaboard. Sea Dancer radically reshaped dive liveaboards by replacing rustic with comfort. But in 1992, now as president of Peter Hughes Diving and the Dancer fleet, Peter upped the ante with Wave Dancer, a luxury liveaboard aimed squarely at attracting female and upscale divers. Wave Dancer replaced bunks with suites, paper plates with china, and instead of nickel and diming it to death, he introduced all-inclusive pricing. An innovator who transformed the dive resort and live aboard, Peter's operations have remained closely involved with environmental preservation. He was among the first operators to install dive site moorings to reduce anchor damage to the reefs. And he is equally dedicated to sharing his experience by training rising dive travel leaders at all his destinations. He's been outspoken before government about the economic benefits and importance of diver tourism. Having sold Peter Hughes Diving in 2008, this year Peter founded a new venture, Dive Encounters Alliance, aimed at the needs of smaller, independent live-aboard vessels including Galapagos Sky. And this begs the question, now what are you changing, Peter? Whatever it is, we can't wait to see it. Peter, thanks for your part in making diving something for everyone, and congratulations on your Reaching Out Award.